Welcome to Math Decision Making One Step Solving. Many of you already know how to do this, but we're going to refresh our memories. This equation says x plus three equals seven. Some of your teachers may have once taught you to put railroad signs there, but basically what I'm trying to do is get x by itself. It's called isolating the x. If it says x plus three, the opposite of plus three is to subtract three. The fancy words for that is additive inverse, but what matters is that you take away the opposite because a positive three and a negative three will cancel out, leaving us just x on this side. And on the right side, we have seven minus three is four. Once you have the variable by itself, you are done. Looking at the next problem, we have x minus six equals four. So again, this is across the equal sign. We wanna get rid of the minus six or subtract six. So also of subtracting six is to add six, or you can think of it as a negative six and a positive six, however you wanna say that. Again, those cancel out. And we have four plus six is 10. Notice how I'm showing work. We want you to show work as well so that you get things correct. Now we know that opposite of add is subtract, but what about when it's like this, when there's no add or subtract? You should know that when they are next to one another and it's add, not add or subtract, if it's right next to one another, that's multiply. And as I wrote right here, the opposites are add and subtract and multiply and divide. So since that says five times X, the opposite would be to divide by five on both sides. Now that doesn't just cancel out really, like this one, positive three and negative three create zero. But right here, we know that anything divided by itself, five divided by five or five pizzas divided by five people means everyone gets one pizza or one pizza slice. So that cancels out because it's one or the multiplicative inverse. 30 divided by five is six. And this one seems to get frustrating for students, but I want you to see that that says x divided by seven. And we just said that opposites are multiply and divide. So if it's already divided, we need to multiply it. If that says x divided by seven, we're gonna times by seven on both sides. Again, that's that multiplicative inverse, and two times seven is 14. Let's move on to your homework or your assignment. So it should look something like this. And for my students, what I typically do is have them grab a highlighter and highlight the letters that they're trying to solve for. I think that's easier. I like to use a highlighter or a marker or something so that we can all see what's happening. So the whole point of this is to isolate the variable or to get it by itself. So right here we would say if it's v plus eight, we would want to subtract eight from both sides. Again, canceling out. And 26 minus eight is 18. Number three says 15 plus b. So again, that add, so we're going to subtract. Or you can think of that's a positive 15, so I need a negative 15, however you see that. But 23 minus 15, oops, let me make that a little bit more clear. Oops. 23 minus 15 is eight. Why don't you try number three real quick? See if you can do it on your own. Okay, hopefully you paused and unpaused, but that says M plus four, so we're gonna subtract four. Now this is a little tricky. We have a negative 12 minus four, so the same direction there, so that's actually gonna be a negative 16. You're welcome to use your calculator. We strongly suggest it. In fact, if you haven't already, um, nope, there's an, in the app store for Android and iPhone, you can get calculate 84, all one word like that. And it will give you the calculator that we use in class or that we used to. All right, so we have M minus nine. We're going to add nine to both sides. Please show your work. We wanna make sure that you um, know how to do this. It's okay to have a little error here, but as long as we know what's happening, we can fix that. All right, so we have V minus 15, so we're gonna add 15. 
So a negative and a positive. So you're going negative, you turn it around and go the other way. So it's actually subtracting to a negative 12. And here we are to our next kind of problem. Do you remember? Think, say it out loud to yourself. If this is eight times X, what should I do? That's right, divide by eight. So that would be a negative 104 divided by 8 is actually a negative 13. And again, if you can't remember all the sign rules, it's okay. Use your calculator and do your own thing. Right here we have B divided by 18, so we're going to times by 18. 18 times negative 6 is negative 108. Again, I'm going to recommend that at this time you pause and try the back side. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the back side, but if you can, try it without and then just check your answers. All right, back at it. So that says V divided by eight, so we're gonna times by eight. So V is 16. That's negative 15 times X, so we're going to divide, and zero divided by anything is zero. Then we have negative seven times, and that does not say n minus seven. That says negative seven times n. I hope you see the difference there. So we're going to divide by negative seven to get a negative three. Then right here, 14 times k, so divide by 14. Oh, I did not have you guys highlight those. I think it's much better if you highlight it, but mainly because right here we can see we want x by itself. And it does say plus, but it says a negative 16. So we wanna add 16. So x is actually one. And then right here we have x minus 15, so we're going to add 15. So negative two equals x. And then we have V divided by seven, so we're gonna times by seven to get 56. And again, another tricky one here is M, but that's a negative seven. The opposite is to add seven, and so 15. Try the other ones, then try our quiz on Canvas. Thank you.